What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so Billy Joe Saunders fights this weekend uh, for the legit WBO super middleweight title at Stevenage Borough Football Club. Yep, this big stadium fight. Um, the undercard is poor, by the way. This has nothing to do with the video, but someone tweeted the undercard and it was, it was shocking. It was absolutely shocking. I would love to know what um, BT Sports are paying uh, Frank Warren um, per show, right? Because it's so poor. Either Billy Joe Saunders has taken 80% of that money and then the rest has been obviously given to the undercard people or Frank is just pocketing a lot for himself because this undercard is shockingly bad for... Again, I know I took the piss earlier and said it's a stadium fight, but it is still a stadium fight regardless and a world title fight. And this is Billy Joe Saunders' real first fight back since David Lemieux. I mean, he had that fight uh, on the undercard, I think, of Josh Warrington versus Frampton, but this is his first fight back and it's just crap, if I'm honest with you. I just did a video about um, Kel Brook talking about him and the fact that he's now 33 and He's still chasing Amir Khan. He's talking about Terence Crawford. And although, yes, he was a world champion, good win against Sean Porter, um, his career for how talented I think he was, is still very disappointing, right? There's no two ways about it. It's so disappointing. So disappointing. And um, I think Billy Joe Saunders is close to that as well. He's younger. He's 29, Billy Joe Saunders. But I I'm sitting back and looking at his career especially when I think that he is a good talent. I don't think he's as good as people think, and we'll talk about that. He is a good talent, though, but I'm thinking his career is just being wasted. It's just being wasted, um, tremendously, in fact. Especially when you think of the middleweight division, right? I mean, we're not talking a scrub division. We're talking a very, very good division. I mean, you can just remove... Canelo and GGG for a second. I mean, he's still got some other great fighters in that division. I mean, Charlo's in that division. Demetrius Andrade is in that division. Devichenko's in that division. Selec is in that division. There are good fighters in that division. Um, and for him to not have mixed it with any of them, don't know. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I, I don't know what to say. Um, again, look, happy he might become a two-it world champion, but... In all honesty, when all said and done, that doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean much. Adrian Brown is a four-weight world champion. It, it doesn't mean much. It, it's about who you're fighting and who you're beating. And, I mean, people, and I say people, Billy Joe Saunders fans are still talking about that David Lemieux performance. I mean, you know how many times BT fucking Sports on their Twitter page and YouTube show that famous miss of Lemieux and where Billy Joe Saunders puts his hand up and looks over, taking the piss? I mean, how long are we going to talk about that one move? I mean, we need a lot more. And let's also not listen to Billy Joe Saunders talk when he says that the likes of GGG and Canelo are scared to fight him. Please. Canelo scared to fight Billy Joe Saunders. Really? <laughs> I mean, you have to be the dumbest motherfucker. Sorry to swear if you believe that. If you really do believe that Canelo and Gennady Golovkin are somehow scared of Billy Joe Saunders, you, you, you're crazy. If high-level boxers have any fear, it's not of boxers, it's of punchers. They're not scared of guys that could potentially embarrass them. And I don't think he will either, by the way. They're scared of guys that potentially could cause them some harm, right? That's what they're scared of. They're not scared of guys that might be able to make a miss and dodge. No, none of that. So don't listen to the rhetoric that Billy Joe Saunders is preaching that he can't get the fights against Canelo and GGG because they're scared. He can't get those fights because his promoter is unable to secure those fights. Simple, right? His promoter is unable to do it. And... As much as I do appreciate the loyalty that Billy Joe Saunders is showing to Frank Warren, in the end, it could do more harm than good for his career. I mean, as it stands right now, is Eddie Hearn more capable of getting those opportunities for him on the zone? Absolutely. Right? Because that's where most of the middleweights are, on the zone. So, I mean, look, I I'm all happy for Billy Joe Saunders to fight for a world title. I think he's a, a good fighter. Um, but, again, we're going to get to the stage now where we look back in a couple of years and say... Billy Joe Saunders should have had this fight, that fight, this fight. Like we do with Brooke. When I say Brooke was at a time in the waterweight division when there was talent galore there. And now all of a sudden he's chasing one or two big fights. That's going to be Billy Joe Saunders in, in two or three years. So look, I, I don't know what Billy Joe Saunders does after winning this belt. And he will win this belt. But what does he do at 168? Well, Callum Smith, that ain't happening. I mean, Callum Pluck, that ain't happening. I mean, these fights ain't happening. So, um, yeah, I don't know.
uh, disappointing. It's more likely to be Chris Eubank versus Billy Joe Saunders than anything else. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.